This is a horror game podcast. It is meant for mature audiences. It may contain shocking revelations, violence, and sexual themes. Viewer discretion is advised. Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome back to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where my friends and I are playing the Delta Green role-playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. The scenario is entitled The End of the World of the End. It was written by Dennis Detweiler, and it's part of Impossible Landscapes. Uh, it's available from Art Green Publishing. Our handler is Nathan Decker, and this is Episode 2. Our recap will be given by Nell Hippo as her character, Agent Diane. So, without any further delay, let's continue our journey into the darkness. No? Thank you. <clears throat> I'm going to try to start from the beginning. I remember feeling tired. Very tired. I recall walking up to a lake and seeing a palace down below. I slipped and nearly fell, but two men saved me. I recall boats. I got my own and laid down to look up at the black stars. I closed my eyes to finally savor this moment of peace. That was all a dream, or was it? When I came to, I saw familiar faces. Agent Donnelly, Agent Dent, whose face is wrapped up in bandages, and Whitworth. However, there, are two, there were two people I barely recognized. Agent Baltus and, and a civilian, Nancy. It was like a reunion from hell. There was an older Agent Dante running up to Nancy and telling us we should follow him. To be honest, I don't recall what else was said. I felt disdain and resentment when Agent Dante showed up, while the one thing that stuck out was that Nancy referred to me as Agent Grey. Thus, we are split in this weird place. I am grateful Agent Donnelly and Agent Dent stayed with me. Whitworth apparently knew the way to get to the palace because we all had an invitation, but I got two. Everything felt like a daze. We somehow ended up on a World War II battlefield. We met Labolus. Donnelly can open doors to other places. Dent can contact demons. It was just too much. The last thing was that clown, that dreaded clown that took our soldier friend. I still remember its hand around me before my demise. Somehow we found ourselves at the palace. There was this long line. We couldn't uh, bring weapons in. With Dent's help, Agent Donnelly and I are invisible. We are armed and ready, I suppose. Our objective is to get Whitworth to the throne. However, I recall what my bottle said. Would my sons be here? I just want to wake up from this horrible nightmare. Excellent. Well, we are starting today in this opulent palace. The lion masked guards have let two of you in. The other three perhaps snuck in the door, uh, single file, tippy toes through. And you're all greeted as you walk in by a packed full masquerade hall. It is a ballroom that, as your eyes try to focus in the distance, it is difficult to gauge exactly how big it is or count how many people there are. If you're trying to do like a tactical bit of the situation, they kind of blur together in your mind and repeat. It's very disorienting so i'd like all of you to make an intelligence times five roll just to see how we're starting oh 22 38 nice 21 57 as a pass okay and donnelly i didn't see yours up or down? Up. Oh, 60. 
Heck yeah. All right. Everyone is able to kind of shake off this feeling as you're feeling like a a stupefying sort of malaise trying to dull your mind almost like a, a blanket settling over you but you're maybe you find yourself moving a little slowly but you snap yourself out of it I'd like to start with the three invisible people in the room looking through this what are you doing are you trying to stay together are you splitting up what's your goal here Rome yeah I think we should Abigail. split up really we should find Abigail and we should find Asa because he is a threat to the throne. Okay. I think we should also try and find the author. You have the bottle, right, Donley? Yes, I have the bottle. So we should get the bottle to the author. Look out for Asa and look out for Abigail. I'm not... Well, we can talk about getting the bottle to the author because I'm not sure we should. <laughs> if that prevents us from getting ascending the throne or whatever that means, then we shouldn't. Yeah. Because we need to take control of the situation, no matter the cost. So, want to split in three ways. Uh, Agent Dent, I recall that you didn't like Asa very much, so would well, make sense you go after. You him. take the yeah. You take the center. I'll take the right. Um, okay. Um, is this a multi-floored <laughs> palace? I, I I'm assuming it is. Uh, yeah, is the ballroom is it is a couple. Does it have high. balconies? It has balconies. It's I'm got up on the balconies art then. all over the place. Yeah, you think, uh, yeah, all of the little kind of arches out of the room, too, have exactly kind of like our background is this mm -hmm. uh, kind of yellow golden cloth covering them. Right. And you can see like waiters going between them, party guests going between them. You think there's probably a lot of side rooms off of okay. this ballroom. But uh, yeah, I think uh, Donley is your thinking thrown. Probably right. straight ahead on the other side. It, That's it what I'm assuming. Reason. All right. From my understanding, Agent Diana has a shotgun. So you are armed with a shotgun. I'm giving you my shotgun. <laughs> so I still awesome. have the machine gun and my own handgun. All right. All right. Uh, so as I understand thanks. it, Dent, you're going up to a balcony to yeah. look for Asa. Donley, you're going to the throne. And uh, Diana, where are you headed? I'm going to... I think she's going to, I guess, survey, um, get the lay of the land type of deal. Maybe okay. try to figure out. Yeah, just overall view. Um, okay, probably then I'll I'll keep you two together, uh, Dent and Diana. I'll I'll keep you because kind of staying up high makes sense. Um, now for the two visible people, Voltus and Nancy. Uh. Nancy, you have Liam next to you. He seems kind of uh, unaffected. His enthusiasm has dimmed a bit, but he's he's kind of nervously picking at his not well healed arm and looking around. What are you two doing? No, oh, oh, don't try. Don't mind. Go ahead. They don't don't mind that. Nobody will be paying any attention. To that. Oh, I guess I'm a little self conscious. It hurt a now lot. Some, so, yeah. I mean, some things about you haven't changed. That's true. Why am I here exactly? Oh, to come to the masquerade to meet Abigail to open your <laughs> bottle. Right, my bottle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure the one who carries it will manifest himself in some kind of a buffoonery at a, a convenient time. Okay. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. And there is a, like a kind of an element of your father was never that good in crowds. And this is definitely taking his toll. Uh, he's he seems lost a little bit um, but it sounds like you are also looking then for Donley is that is that the plan uh, I know Donley has the bottle but if I if I know anything about them th these people is that they're hell bent um, just very rigid in their thinking so they're going to go right 
fight for Abigail, and Abigail is by the throne, whatever that is. So if I go there, they will show up there eventually, Pretty inevitably, nice. inexorably. They are <laughs> puppets on strings. Mm -hmm. And Voltus. So you? I'm kind of imagining as we've come in, um, it's a masquerade. There's there, mm -hmm. there's music playing. Is yeah. the is the it's center a, of the ballroom basically people in elaborate costumes doing some sort of minuet to the music? It's yeah, it's kind of a faintly minuet Walsh, but it's kind it's, of in like a minor key, so it's a little. Odd, down yeah. yeah it's a little and it's, strange. they're still sort of moving in unison and all flowing in a direction around in fact yeah you're looking at that and you again you have to snap yourself out of it, it there's something mesmerizing about just the way the crowd's going but there's not well, like an empty space there it's just a, a mash of people it's kind of i feel like going with the flow i know that abigail is up near the throne uh i assume the throne you can i can can we see the throne uh, at the make, far end in that direction? yeah make a search check okay 93 i can't see it yeah um, not, not really it's the ballroom so, is very long as you're looking so, at it what I'm going to try to do dressed in my frog costume <laughs> um, is I'm going to step into the the edge of the crowd and sort of dance and just and just you know pick a partner and start flowing waltz like in that direction. I figure it's down there, so I'm going to just start going with the flow. Uh, okay, and I'm I'm halfway one as I want to get to the throne and say hello to Abigail, but at the same time I want to see where the flow takes me. I'm curious. Okay, where I end up. Excellent. So, it sounds like Nancy, you, and Liam are heading towards the throne with a little bit more intent. Uh, Voltus, you're letting yourself be swept up. Flowing, so yeah. yeah, we'll get back to the throne seekers in a moment. Uh, Agent Dent and Agent Diana, can you give me a search roll? Uh, both of you may attempt. You just need one success between the two of you. Absolutely. Okay. 14 out of 50. That'll do it. Yeah, she didn't get it. Okay. Um, unfortunately. All right. You are able to find that one of these kind of like side areas under an arch it billows the side and beyond this artwork you can see uh oh yes there's a stairwell it goes up to the second story and you climb up there um and you can see this whole crowd and looking out into them uh didn't make a luck roll for me i think that's how we'll handle this Man, I'm rolling hot. Oh, five. Oh, five. Yes. Excellent. Uh, it doesn't take you that long. You see Nancy and Voltus. Voltus is in the crowd being moved around. Nancy and Liam are headed kind of right towards the throne, and you can see the throne now. Uh, you can point it out to Jody if you so desire, but there's a uh, just this golden throne and a large picture behind it that is very familiar to you. It's the sheep in the city burning but there's something different about it. Um, you're still a bit far away, but there's a splotch of blue in front where a, a sheep normally would be. But, oh yeah, and there's Whitwer. You see him gliding through the crowd. You also see a massive figure. And it's the kind of thing where you're not focusing on it, and then it moves into the edge of your vision, maybe 12 feet tall, wrapped in these yellow oh, robes God. in a plain white mask. And it, it just, God. yeah, it slowly turns and dips into a side room. 
and you can see water is pooling out of this side room. So first roll of sanity, Agent Dent. Okay. Uh, a one. Holy shit. You're, wow. Uh, you know what? You're good. Okay. You're good. Keeping your cool. I know what needs to be done. Uh, did you say something, Dent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is it? I know what needs to be done. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, what would that be? I'm looking for Asa. I'm scanning for purple in the crowd. Um, You don't see purple in the crowd, but with uh, kind of how you've been doing that water pooling out from under this other kind of uh, arch of the drowning and stuff. Room, huh? Yeah. Okay. That is also, though, where this massive figure just went into. So, you know, take your pick. You've used up a minute of your invisibility. I think we're going to have to chase. I don't like what he's up to. This monster yeah. cannot be allowed to ascend the throne. Yeah, um, Agent Di Diana will follow, but she is keeping an eye if she can see either her mm -hmm. her sons, uh, David or Kenneth. Yeah, roll another search for me. Okay. Ah, uh, no. Uh, my dice are doing pretty bad. That's, that's a fail. Okay. Um, Dent, you're leading the two of you down, it sounds like, kind of, okay. you have to go across the hall, uh, the ballroom to get to this other side, and Agent Diana, you hear a voice you're familiar with, and, uh, it's very clearly Mr. Wild, kind of deeper in the crowd, but you can't see him, and he's just saying, Harry, Harry, you need to calm down, my man, you calm down, she's gonna be here, all right, she's gonna be here. Harry? I'm trying to remember. Um Oh, I'm sorry. Your name's not Harry, your name's David. Where did I get Harry from? That's <laughs> crazy. You guys all it's very confusing for me, Mr. Wild. Yeah. Um <laughs> e yeah. Uh huh. Um I think she's going to try uh because Agent Dent seems to be going on his mission just fine. She's going to see where Mr. Wild is coming from. Yeah. So I don't know. You are both invisible. So maybe did you just feel whatever pressure like Agent Diana was holding on to you with just goes. So be it. I'm peacing out then. Okay. I'm not waiting. Okay. It's fair. Then we will return to the two of you as Dent heads towards this water. Um, and I want the, uh, between Nancy and Donnelly, go ahead and give me a dexterity roll. All right. Oh, 22. Oh, five. Oh, yeah, 22. Oh. <laughs> okay, 22 will do it. Uh, Donnelly, you will be the first to reach the throne. So you are, uh, you have a moment to take this in. Nancy, the scene will look familiar for you once you reach there, but... Uh, Donnelly will be just a bit ahead. Um, the first thing you notice, Donnelly, as you reach this back of the ballroom, there is a golden throne up on kind of a, a platform. There are six people on the stage. Uh, two of them uh, women, two of them men. They seem very like royal, sort of like uh, princes and princesses or something to that degree of the realm. Uh, a couple more look more like advisors, like kind of uh, magical seers and that sort of thing are standing there. And they all have masks on. They're just kind of bemusedly smiling out at this crowd. And they are guarded by more of these lion-faced guards. Behind the throne, there is another one of these giant pictures of the city burning the sheep in front of it. But this time you see that leading the sheep, holding a staff with the wooden or with the uh, the wooden sign, the yellow sign on top of it, uh, is a, a woman in a blue dress, and she is also standing, kind of off the stage. She's not really with the family, 
she's a little bit ahead of it is uh this woman in a like a, a cat mask. I'm gonna assume that's Abigail. Um I'm <laughs> I'm gonna try some I'm gonna um because I don't see Abigail, I don't see the the woman in blue and cat mask around. She's not on the stage. No, she is on the stage. She's, oh, she's both on the, in the yeah, she's, she's in, in the, the picture. picture. Okay, and then, and she's on yeah, the stage. in front. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna go to her and uh, whisper, Abby, Abigail, and she smiles and just looks right at you. Oh, <laughs> Hi, I've been uh... looking for you for twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> It's so glad to see you. I've got the bottle. You brought it. Oh, that's absolutely wonderful. Thank goodness. I I was afraid with everything you'd been through. It's, it's so much. Uh, I've seen so much from here. And I am so glad you could do this for him. Did you see JC? He needs the bottle. Why, JC? Why, JC? It's his bottle. He needs it. To ascend the throne? No, to... To write... To he be doesn't the author? know. Yes, he doesn't know what to write until you give that to him. You have to give that to him. Or else this whole thing falls apart. And she's very calm as she's saying this. There's li a, like a little intonation, but not a lot just he needs we're in it he needs to write it my it human be 60 does she seem uh roll it please thirty eight okay <clears throat> she is uh telling the truth but she also seems too calm and not drugged necessarily but there's an inhumanness to it like an impersonality to it but she at least the impression you're getting is she's believing what she's telling you see I don't know I mean uh, you're supposed to be the one that beats the phantom you're in the you're in the picture. You're the one that leads the sheep in the burning city. The people. I I understand. And my role is to be here and keep this going. Again and again. Do we repeat the same thing over and over? We have to. Because if we don't what end? the world will end. I don't know. This is it's all a fantasy anyways. It's all just a play. We're just no, no, actors. No. The play is real. This is all real. What's out there? And she kind of gestures towards the side rooms and everything. That is what we are maintaining. That is the lie. We have to keep this going forever so that the world can continue which is the why lie? jc needs yes so we're How just could... eating i see i don't care then i mean this world isn't any real to me and if you're telling me that world is a lie then it could all burn well you can go back to a better world than you left what about all the people don't you want something and JC is going to give me that? He's going to put it back? Yes. I'll help him. We will put it back and give you the life you want. So we can, what, be in the Matrix, play, you know, eat our steak and just, you know, not think about it? You'll be free of it. You don't have to come back here. You can move on. And we'll continue doing what we do, but you'll be free. So we're and, just, again. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, we're just playing. 
we're just feeding back into this world. We're just feeding this world. Our little dance that we're doing, just feeding this world. That's what you want? You were in that world before. Don't you remember? Who, who told you that? And she asks that, and Nancy, that's about the time that you'll reach this front area again. You see throne people, the crowd, but uh, you'll also see Agent Donnelly uh, wink into existence. Uh, he is now visible to you. And you see that Abigail looks at Liam with a... What's your human? My human is 40. Okay, can you roll that? She's a little tough to read at the moment. Uh, No, 59. Okay. Yeah, she's giving Liam a look of... You can't tell if it's contempt or pity. I'm, I'm sorry. Those are Simon. practically the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Simon. We we really need to get that to JC. Nancy, Do you remember I'm... the broad bin? Do you remember your you remember your old life? Before? Of course. Yes, of course I remember my life. I remember my father. I remember the apartment. The, I, of course. It's all there. And you're fine with this? You don't want to change this? You don't want to... You, I, There's no way to change where I am. It needs to go on this way. On and on, the same thing over and over. Static, Donnelly. Doomed, doomed to repeat this. Everything is always static. <laughs> An active static. <laughs> Nancy's doomed to be well, shot and killed and repeat that. No, over and over. you can see from what Liam has done that there can be changes. Isn't that right? And yeah, Liam's looking a little sheepish at the moment. Uh, no pun intended of like that is. <laughs> you can change things. Of course you can. The dance, the steps can change, but the dance has to go on. And again, if you get out of here, we can make your world free. Again, you don't have to loop back into this. You're Roll here is done. You just have to give JC the bottle. Uh, why does Wild want Whitward to ascend to the throne? Roll human, the both of you again. <clears throat> 34 is a pass. Okay. 87, no. Okay. <clears throat> there is a flash of anger in her eyes that she disguises very quickly back behind this kind of facade of neutrality. Wild has his schemes and he tries to step beyond what he should. He is a thorn in the side of all of this and you should not be listening to him. Well, Whitworth's coming. He's here. Oh. I'm sure he's walking. He's, Looking back, do I see him? I mean, he's, uh, he's make dead. a yeah, make a <laughs> make a uh, search roll to find him in the crowd. Uh, Fifty six. That's a pass. Okay. Um, yeah, he like seems to be in the middle of the crowd, just kind of looking around. Uh, you also see that he seems to be kind of trailing <laughs> Agent Voltus as Voltus is moving in the crowd. They're both kind of moving with the flow. No, he's he's right there. Uh, Wild, that's the, that's the, that's the problem road. with with specifics, Donnelly. He's right there, and then he's there, and then he's there, and then he's there. Right there. <laughs> Don't. And she reaches over Donnelly, and she kind of grabs your arm. It's like, don't let him get the bottle. You he's cannot. coming for it. 
I Wild I wants Wild has us here. He has all these agents here. Wild is lying to you. Oh, I whatever assume he's so. doing, I don't know if he wants to take over this or what, but it is the world he creates. It won't be a kind place. So the world that JC's going to write, is that going to be, that's going to be good? As much as we can. What about Liam's world? I think you're Liam's world, Nancy. I don't think he has what it takes to make an entire world What about if I just open the bottle? I'd be surprised if you could. Mm. There are people here who can. JC can open it. But... You can't? No. I'm not the author. Product? Sure. And she'll I don't know. hold out a yeah. hand. I'll hold the I'll hold it really tight. <laughs> but yeah, I'll let her give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see you're like holding on to it and she reaches out and she just kind of puts a, a hand on it and tries to pull the stopper and there is nothing there but uh Donley you can feel something like like kind of like a fizzy drink bubbling like the bottle itself is reacting to her I think you're more than what you think I think there's something to you like I said we I've been chasing you for 20 years hmm. you are the you will defeat the phantom you will defeat the king in yellow you will free the people from his chance. Hmm. You will make yes. it better. Fan where did you hear about this phantom? Oh, there's a oh. world. A world Phantom's without doors. And again, you see this flash of anger in her eyes. I think we're done here. Simon, you need to go. You, you don't have infinite time here. If you are here with midnight rings, you will be caught in this, whether you like it or not. And there will be no way we can save you. I don't know. I think I'm kind of forfeited all anyways. It seems to be all an illusion, whether or not it's an illusion here or an illusion in the other. If I go back to where I was, um, what about if I just break this damn bottle? And as you're as you say that, there is this time you don't need a human role to see it. This just pure anger in her face as she grabs your arm, and you're realizing now that she is cold. She just kind of touched you before, but her hand is cold. She goes, "Give JC the bottle." And I want to jump from there to Agent Voltus in the crowd. You are getting bumped around a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> swaying, swaying, dancing. Um, and it's kind of a give me an int times five as you're just going through this. Int times five. Yeah. Uh, double O nine. Okay, excellent. You catch sight of Whitwer. You realize he's kind of swept along at this after you, mm -hmm. and you're very close to him at this point. You're seeing there's not a lot of emotion in those eyes. He already kind of looked like he was just this something moving behind a mask, but is he still he nine seems... feet tall? Yeah, he's nine feet tall, and there's something 
you, he's really going with the flow in a way that kind of surprises you. It almost seems like he has no control at this point. He's just kind of moving along. And as you're going through the crowd, a man you've seen once before in the company of Mr. Wild, a Agent Exeter, they called Exeter. him. Exeter, yes, I remember. Yeah. With the he, camera. Yeah, he kind of bursts out of the crowd into this flow and grabs your arms. Um, oh, Agent God. Exeter. Yes, yes. I, I move and with he's him. Panting. Yes, thank you. Did you, did you take them? Did, do you have the vial? Do I have the vial? Um, the vial. Let's move over here to the side, yeah. out of so, the dance. Um, no, 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 no! Keep moving with it. Keep moving with it. Stay hidden. Stay hidden. The vial. Um, there was a vial with a tooth and a beetle. Yes. Yes. I I've never had it. No. No. You, you have to make a choice. I can't do it anymore. I'm out. Um I checked my pockets to see if I have any teeth. Yeah, left. you've got a couple couple in there. I've got these. Oh thank God. Oh thank God. D please, quickly, just and he takes a teeth out of your hand a tooth uh -huh. and swallows it and disappears from in front of you oh well that's weird I was going to tell him I had some beetles too uh, <laughs> that's true you do <laughs> um uh, at this point I think I'm going to oh he said to stay in the in the movement um I'm going to move a little over to the edge of the movement and mm -hmm. I'll keep moving, but I'm kind of resting as I'm yeah. moving at this point because it's quite wild in the middle, like a whirlpool. Um, Again, no pun intended. I look around. Am I closer to the throne? Um. Yeah, you are. It does kind of move closer to the throne. And you see, like, you could step out now. You can see Nancy and Donley. They look like they're talking to Abigail. Um, what else do I see? Any other interesting points of... Do a, uh, yeah, do a search check as you're looking and around. And uh, Whitworth is still following me or just moving in the crowd? He seems to be moving with the crowd. So if you're kind of stepping away, he's caught up in this movement of people and starts I, to sway away. What am I rolling? Uh search. Oh search. Search. Oh, okay. I got fifty five out of sixty. Oh. So I guess that's a I didn't know whether it was a failure or a, a <laughs> good one. But in this case it's a like, double five. Okay. Um you are kind of stepping off to the side and you also see, and you'll need to make a sanity roll as the same. There's something behind the throne in front of the painting. And it doesn't look like Donley or Barnes sees it. It is a yellow coated figure with this white mask, just watching them. Like 12 feet tall? 12 feet tall, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got a 37, so that passes my sanity. Yeah, just, just one. Yeah, it's not a not a critical. And I get a feeling it's... probably of a bit of, of more than just weirdness, but scary weirdness. It's, it is very... You don't want to get closer to this, okay. and you don't think you want it touching you. Or even observing you. Not really. Okay. So I'm going to blend back into the crowd. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I'm going to kind of keep my eyes on my, pe you know, my people up up on yeah. the throne. I can probably see Abigail and Donnelly. And that's probably noise and music and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if I yell, 
he probably won't hear me. Yeah, yeah. There's enough that you can probably give a shout. Um, if there's something you want to shout at. I'll I'll sort of yell out, Donley. And if you see me yeah. in the crowd, <laughs> there's a faint Donley in the crowd. <laughs> and I'll raise my hand. I sort of point at the throne like there's something behind the throne. Oh. Uh, Donley, give an alertness because Abigail has grabbed your arm. She said this. Nancy, you can too because you've heard it as well. And then I'd probably get swept uh, back into that. 41. <laughs> okay. Uh, I failed. Okay. Yeah, that's my best. <laughs> it doesn't look like anything to you, Nancy. <laughs> He's pointing at the painting for some reason. Uh, Donley, give me a sanity check. Yeah. That, it's past 32. Okay. Just one. And maybe it's the adrenaline as you're seeing this figure that Abigail's kind of like standing in front of. She's got this grip on your arm. She's telling you, get the bottle to JC. And this figure is just, it looks like it body motion wise, like it would reach for you, but kind of like doing the, it wants to, but it can't. Well, because I have the bottle. It's, it's all because of that thing. We're just feeding that thing. You guys are all pawns in this. Come on, Abigail. You come around. Come come out of it. You're caught up in this. Are you just dead? Are you dead to a, the world? Dead to everyone? You feel cold. Are you going to play your role or not, Simon? No. Good. What what stops me from giving it to Whitward? I might. And we will cut from there. <laughs> Agent Dent, you are getting near this kind of ballroom edge that you saw. The the yellow drapes are across down to the floor, but they're uh, there's like the water crawling up it because you can see this room is very clearly flooding out. What I'm on the doing? hunt. Okay. If you go through, are you going through? Yeah. All right. You have to push the curtain aside. You're still invisible. You've got, you think, maybe like a minute left. I got to make a count. Yeah. You see in this room, it is flooded up, you know, ankle deep. It's not so deep but there is a tub in the middle of the room that has been full like filled up and this is a another one of these large rooms and you can see on the walls there are hundreds thousands of pictures of these blank faced children and when i say blank i mean they have no face just kind of staring down. And Asa is there with uh, a bit of a broken champagne bottle in his hand. He's just on a chair looking at the door. And go ahead and make a stealth roll as you are hey. coming into this room. Sure. Oh, boy. 50-50. 73, I failed. Wow, I also rolled a 73 oh, shit. and failed. So because you are no invisible, way. I'm giving this to you is you are realizing like like in all the good movies when you are in the water, you see the ripples going out. Yeah. And you know, like, I got to keep this chill. I can't rush him if I'm going to rush him. What do you do? Call a demon. Who you call him? You uh, call? I am calling Floros, who can engulf a conjurer's enemies in flames. Okay. I'm gonna set this fucker on fire. <laughs> Floros. All right. Um. All right. You go ahead and roll sanity, please. Okay. Uh, I fail. Seventy-five. Okay. Uh, roll a d six, please. All right. Gotta keep my shit just two. Ooh. Okay. You're you're keeping your shit together as 
you hear this splashing and Asa looks up in confusion. There is a small girl dressed in overalls dragging around like a gym bag and she looks tired and she just sloshing through the water. She, I, You're not quite sure how she came up behind you. And she just kind of looks at you tiredly. Uh, name boss? Asa Dervandi. <laughs> yeah. And at that moment, you watch as Asa just bursts into flame on this chair. Oh, go ahead and roll shit. sanity again. <laughs> And then roll 2d6 uh, for damage, please. Okay, I failed the sanity. So. <laughs> roll 1d6. <laughs> All right, 1d6. For, uh, I'll roll the sanity first. Uh, just one. And then, okay, okay. I'm lucking out tonight. And then D6. the damage is going to be eight. Oh my god. How much health does a... Uh, a I'm assuming he's flailing around, days. right? Uh, yeah, I mean, he just goes up pretty much and... Yeah, he's Jeez. screaming and he's splashing onto the floor, but you see whatever part of him is left out keeps catching as he's going on. It okay. looks like he's I'm going assuming to have I'm to, not like, invisible anymore, right? No, you were still invisible. You oh, had I'm enough time. And he's I'm not screaming. gonna waste the bullets on him. Okay. I'll I'll just watch. Okay. Um he seems to be just like holding his breath underwater, like he's going to wait it out. Oh yeah? Okay. I'll step on his neck. Okay. So there's just this crunch, and you're just holding him there. You can feel the heat coming through your boot, and he's just looking at you. Well, not I'll at you, just at, at nothing. Yeah, <laughs> is basically the last thing he sees in this room. Is oh, he's drowning like those you. kids. Yeah. That sucks. And finally, there's the light goes out of his eyes and he's still under the water. All right. Take a deep breath. I'm going to search his body for whatever this guy has. Might okay. be useful. Do an alertness roll as okay. you're starting. You kneel down. You're starting to look through these things 11 11 yeah that's very good you're feeling the room around you shift and you're hearing like little clicks and clacks as like the picture frames are hitting each other and kind of condensing down and at the end of it you are left in what looks to be What's your home like, would you say? Um basically uh the home of like a nuclear family. It's got that mm -hmm. uh swing set porch uh in nice. the back. Shed, lawnmower, cut grass, mm -hmm. smell of cut grass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all kind of suffusing the air. There's an open window. You can see that there's like uh the outside you could see the clothesline uh it's, this is not real. It's all american yeah you are in your living room Damn you straight. think you have this person asa he's on the floor you look like you've stepped on his neck and suffocated him and what strikes you is interesting beyond this change of scenery there is just one picture on the wall that of asa darabandi And the okay. phone starts to ring. I'll walk over to the telephone and pick it up. And you recognize the voice of Thomas Bale. Ah, great. Agent Dent, I've got some work for you. Okay, what is it? We've got some people that are looking to cause trouble. Um, yeah, we're going to need you to go out... Um, there's a fellow by the name of uh, Fred Carson. We need Fred you to Carson? take care of. Yeah, right now. Any ali aliases? Uh, some agent name, but it's okay. Uh, we can What's get you where name? you need to be. Uh, 
Agent Donnelly, what was your grandfather's agent name, would you say? Um, shoot, we haven't come across what, Uh, how about agent retirement? <laughs> Agent <laughs> Kane. oh, Kane? Agent Kane. Yeah, I like that. Agent Kane. Yes. Um, he will be in this park and the voice gives you an address and a time to be there. We need him taken care of now. Can you do that for us? Where's the ball? The what? I was just at the ball, the masquerade ball. You haven't left there yet? We don't have a lot of time. You need to leave there so we can get you to work. You have a job to do. You're a very important person with a job to do. And what is, what's in it for me? The king is asking you to do this. This will be your role. And after this roll, I'm done. No. I'm never Of done. course not. There's always going to be people that need to be removed for the king. But we can give you Cindy back. Fuck. I just checked my uh my bonds. <laughs> What's your bond with Cindy? one and my bond with Donnelly is five. Oh no. I guess So I'm what letting do you do? her go. I'm letting her go. You can have her. I'll hang up. And you hang up and you are returned back to the ballroom and you can see you just you're still standing on Ace's neck, but it's just kind of like a, a side ballroom thing. There's no pictures on the wall or of anything. You're just you've just killed him. And he's sitting there, and as you watch, his teeth start to fall into the back of his throat. And I'd like to cut over to <laughs> Agent Diana. Mm -hmm. Agent Diana, you are looking for the voice. Uh, and you do see uh, that Wild is there, and he is talking to your sons that are just kind of standing there. And he's like, look, uh, look, she's going to be here, all right? I said she's going to be here. You're going to have to be a backup. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Uh, huh? You look a little different. Uh, um, right, right. Um, she's like looking towards it. Uh, David, uh, Kenneth, it's been, it's been so long. I'm, I'm sorry. I've, I've, I've missed you. I've, I don't know what's been going on. What are you, what are you two doing here? Mr. Wild, Mr. Wild, is that right? Yes, I look a little different. Just yeah, yeah. what's No, we going met. on? We met at the Dorchester a little bit. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's no big deal. Uh, no, mm -hmm. I, I, I went out and I had to bring David and Kenneth here because I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not quite sure that these other folks are up to the task. Do you get what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of questions about this Whitworth fella, and I I needed a backup plan, right? So you decided to talk to my teenage sons? <laughs> they're like one. I, they're eighteen and twenty. I mean, come on, I'm not some kind of creep. Jeez. <laughs> no, no, it's just what makes I I, and she's looking over to like to her sons. Like, are you guys okay? Um. Uh, how how's dad? Uh, how's how's he doing? Does he know that you're here? Or, um, yeah, Dad knows we're here. What, what did you what did you tell him that you're going to a party? I mean, he told us how What? to get here. What? The, how would how would Mark be able to? Okay, uh, n n never mind, never mind. So once wow, no, so. once he died. Oh. It's like like the notes said, if dad dies, he can tell us how to get here. He can show us the sign. And make a she's sanity just, roll. yeah, she's just realizing what she has uh, done. That is perfect. 
Oh, that is a fail. Okay, it's a D6. Oh. D6, all oh, right. Sorry. Because they're not twins. Know. That would be even creepier, but they're they're just yeah, your two sons are just talking about how uh, ah yeah, I rolled a done. six. Um I'll use a I think I'll just use a bond. Um that'll be a okay. D4, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Your husband, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a two. Okay. So, that'll uh, keep you from like losing it. But what's it look like? Oh, yeah, she is uh, freaking out. Not only she lost, uh, well, her her husband, now she just realized a mistake, uh, like, way, way back about, like, something about inheritance or a lost uncle, mm -hmm. and she's just realizing what she, she has done and looking. So, so, okay, Mark is gone. Now, he's looking at David and Kenneth. Do you... Do you know what you what you are into uh, now? Um, both of you um, to be the, mm -hmm. the next a backup plan. Wow, wild. What are you what are you thinking? Um, you didn't do a background check it's... on what we're before thinking that he would be the be the Look, next king. I I know he's around here somewhere. I, I... It, there's there's a lot of potential. Okay, there's a lot of potential that I'm working with here, and I realized. As I was looking into it, my lawyers looked into it. I'm sorry, I'm very thorough. But uh, your kids, they got the gift, right? They got the juice that they need to be the author. Not just anybody can do it. You should be really proud. Not just anybody can survive, you know, touching the king. It, it requires a little, it required a lot of work on my part to, to do this. That's why I went for them is because I realized how powerful you could be. Right, right. Does I did did David Cabrera tell you about this? Like, yeah, he's around here somewhere. Don't worry. I hope he didn't drown in the punch bowl or nothing. <laughs> oh, does he usually do that? Um, honestly, yeah. That it's really tough to keep a Cabrera around this party. I I see, I see. Um, in, in that case, and she's kind of like going going through her mind a bit. Oh, uh, fine. Fine. I just want this. At least I'm with my children here. I know that my my father, not my father, my husband is gone. Um, I'll just stay here with the with the kids. At least if something happens, I can do something to defend them. I don't Great. want to lose them. Great idea. Absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more. And he's kind of like pushing the kids towards you. So tell you what. Donley, Donley has the bottle, right? Yeah. Just you. You need to get that from him. And if your kids can open it, problem solved, okay? I need you to do this. Do, don't do let Whitware get it. Okay? Okay. I've changed my mind. Everybody okay. makes mistakes once in a while. The 18 or 20, I just want to remind people <laughs> that these are adults. <laughs> And and uh, Jody, well, Asian Dan is like forty three, so like they would be around that age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Um, All right, you need look. I I Whitworth's kind of turned. Okay. Oh, I I figured he got a bit taller. And whatever happened to that cat of yours? Do you ever be able to figure that one out? Uh, no, but I'm oh. gonna get it. Look, you get the kids the bottle. I'll worry about the cat. Okay. 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 Fine. Fine. Where's Where's the punch bowl? Maybe I just need a drink to to. Uh... Yeah, it's over there. Yeah. Okay. All right. And she's just looking dumbfoundedly at her kids, like, okay. Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. She's She's a bit like trying to take this in. She's close. She's just glad she's with the kids, but is actively scanning for Donnelly and anyone else. Okay. Um, yeah. Do a uh, Do a search roll. Because you are kind of in the middle of the crowd. Yeah, makes sense. Ooh, 88. I think she's too panicked about what is okay. going on. Uh, it makes sense. It's like, oh my God. Yeah, you're probably also distracted uh, because there is a body face first in the punch bowl who looks mm -hmm. like got stabbed in the side of the neck with a champagne bottle like or a champagne uh, glass that like the stem of it just got 
shanked. Oh, Asa in probably did that. It is the <laughs> MO, yeah. You think Asa might have drowned the lawyer. Oh, yeah. I, I think she's just gonna stand there awkwardly with with her uh with her kids like Dave and, and, and Kenneth. Like she's like, oh my god, what's going on? She's just she'll be there like panicking, not look not really finding Donnelly, unfortunately. Yeah, you're you're looking at your kids kind of in unison, and this is where we'll leave you. I like yeah. Jody. The time is almost upon us. Look at your watch. Midnight is almost nigh. Yeah, she's she's looking and and still blood in it, right? In yep, glass. Yep. Yep, and it's it is it's ticking closer and closer to midnight. You're feeling like time is growing short. Yeah, um, I think with that, as she's the her hand is shaking while looking at this pocket watch. Um, okay, uh, all right. Um, we just need to find uh, well, I have a new family friend. Uh, we're looking for Donnelly. Okay. Okay, uh, let's go. Um, and she just kind of like awkwardly escorts her her kids. Uh, okay, yeah. awesome. You will re-enter the crowd, and we'll go back to uh, Donnelly and Nancy. Yeah. So if um, if Donnelly has holding up the bottle, right? Yep. yep. Or Abigail to try to open, and Abigail has a hold. Yeah. Yeah. Of his arm. I kind of want to grab Liam's like hand and just place his hand on the bottle. Oh, interesting. Um, well, Donnelly and Abigail are kind of yeah, uh, Donnelly locked uh, in this conversation. <laughs> yeah, you can probably see them doing this. Do you want to help, or do you just want to kind of let it? No, I mean how. Strong as Ab Abby's grip, Abigail's grip. Uh, it should not be as strong as it is. It is freakishly strong. Um, I'm gonna try to pull back, pull away. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, Nancy, go ahead and do <clears throat> a, uh, what do we want to call that? Strength or dexterity, whichever one you want to kind of <clears throat> to do to get <clears throat> Liam to to grab it. Um, and Donnelly, go ahead and give a strength roll, please. 36 is a pass for dexterity. I got a 16. Okay. Strength. Would you believe, Donnelly, uh -oh. I rolled a 15. <laughs> so you are just able to rip your, like, she takes some of the sleeve maybe that you had on of this uh, trench coat and it just rips off in her grasp as you pull back. But you do see that Liam is left kind of holding the bottle. He's got this look of like, why, why, why do I, why do I have this? Please, I, I need you to try to open it, okay? Just please, for me, just this one thing, okay. please. Okay. Let's, uh, Go ahead and what's uh Nancy and Donley? What are your uh, dexterities? Just fourteen. My dexterity is ten. Okay. Or no, wait, what? Uh, yeah, ten. Okay. Uh, in that case, um, Donley, you will go first. Is you can see Liam's got this bottle. Nancy's saying, "Open it." And Abigail is right there with this gigantic thing behind her. And you can see the arm is now coming towards you. Yeah, I'm going to grab the bottle. Um, and if I can grab the bottle and punch Liam at the same time, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, make a uh, make a uh, attack. And Liam will try and just dodge this one. Okay. The bottle is staying with me. And I got a 44. That's a pass. That's a good. <laughs> uh, Nancy, do you mind rolling for Liam? Uh, I'm not sure what his stat is. If you don't have it, <laughs> yeah, the 70, 73 is, is no good. So 
yeah there's a uh a clonk is donley you yeah you kind of get a little bit nothing to do damage probably but uh you grab the bottle and what are you doing i'm pulling it and and getting back just getting away from all this okay um in that case uh let me just see go ahead and make a dexterity roll this will be this will determine how easily you're getting out of here <laughs> i rolled a 69 i have a 70 percent on dex unbelievable <laughs> As you feel, because you're wearing kind of that trench coat, you feel something brush it, and the trench coat just dissolves. Like whatever hand this was just kind of turned whatever it touched to liquid as it went through, and then you're in the crowd. Uh, Nancy, you saw Donley just book it into the crowd. You you had it in your hands. Why why couldn't you just open I, I, it? I'm not. Fa I've never been fast enough. I've never been fast enough. I'm an academic, Nancy. That was. It's okay. It's <laughs> my okay. One chance. My one chance. My one chance. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. No, 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 it's okay. We just have to get out of here. Nancy, if we can get out of here back to the city, it'll be okay. We just can't stay here. Can you come with me this time, please? There's, there's nowhere else for me to go. No, you can stay please. here with me. Please, please, please. Why can't it just stop? Why can't it all just stop? I just want it to stop. I never asked for this. I, I'm sorry. I never asked for any of this. Why can't I just... I would have preferred to have kept walking down that street. No, no, don't, don't. Uh, One second. Liam's hearing that. No, it's you're going wrong again. You're going wrong again. <laughs> and he just stands up and he's going to like book it back. It looks like towards the front door. Is there anything you want to do or are you going to let him go? The one thing one thing that I cannot stand about the universe is that your existence. Because if that wasn't true, if that wasn't true, I never would have been here. <laughs> Gonna give him another sanity roll just for... Yeah, that that looks like it hurt him a good bit. <laughs> He's probably not going to turn around at this point. And I'd like to, uh, to cut back from there. Donley, you are Escaping into the crowd, Nancy, you are standing there. Abigail doesn't seem to care about you at this point. And Agent Fultis, what are you doing in the crowd? I'm really curious now about the tooth. Um, mm -hmm. I'm wondering if Exeter used the tooth to escape back to the real world. Or what I call the real world. Um, and now it's starting. I don't know. Because it got the beetles. And it got this tooth. Maybe it's a way of traveling. Um, I see Don Lee. I see them up there. I saw them up there with Abigail. I don't really have anything to see. Do I still see... Uh, uh, what were? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think at this point maybe I am 
overly stimulated by the noise and the dance and everything. I'm moving towards the edge. Are there refreshments? Uh, yes, there are refreshments as well as a dead lawyer floating in the punch bowl. Uh, Cabrera punch. Um. Is it is there anybody it looks like I can ask questions of? I uh, do there, research. <laughs> yeah, there are waiters and uh, like uh, people passing out like little treats and whatnot every once in a while. You might be able to do that. There's guards around, but they don't look very talkative. Yeah, I guess I'm looking more for a a party goer that is willing to oh. chat. I like that. Uh, go ahead and roll a search. Oh, 13. Who is... 13. Who do you My find there? Um, you find uh, Mark Rourke. He Mark. has that red toupee is in his hands. Uh, and you can just see he's just completely bald on the top. Like, uh, he has not gone gracefully into that good night, and uh, he's got a uh, a cup of uh, looks like punch from the bowl, oh. and yeah, there's like that little tendril of red you can see in it of blood, uh, but he seems to be swigging it down without caring too much. Uh, Mr. Rourke, wasn't it? Oh, hey, yeah, uh, Voltus, right? Uh, that's correct. You can call me Harry. Um, don't mind if I do. So what what do you make of all of this? Uh, I mean, it's a hell of a party, but I wouldn't stay to the end. You know what I mean? Well, that's the impression I keep getting. How does one? I mean, I don't want to go back into the city, and I don't want to go back to the labyrinth. How do you get back to the real world? I mean, have you tried um, just leaving from here? If you look and find a place, I think you can just get out. This place, everybody's, you know, got this thing they want, right? And this place, it's like it collects them and it traps them. And Trust me. All I want is a good party, and this ain't it. Okay, well, Agent Exeter seemed to eat a tooth. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it's about one of the kid's teeth. Yeah. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, it really takes is a gross. takes a sip of the punch. I've got some little golden it, beetles too. Is that something? Uh, yeah, the yeah, the that's like more potent. The uh oh the you know, you smoke the Melonia the drugs, and stuff. The drugs. Yeah, it's more like that kind of thing. I, look, I wouldn't touch the stuff, okay? That stuff will get you here real fast. And I'm okay. not sure if you take too much of that, I don't think you're gonna be leaving. Catch my drift. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the idea of clouding my mind with drugs. Um. So if I oh, just well, I didn't go... say that. I'm just saying that stuff's the bad stuff. Oh, okay. give me a little bit of you know, a little bit of nose candy, and now we're talking. But I wouldn't touch Melonia. Uh. So if I just find an exit and leave. Yeah, that'd work. I, the tooth. I mean, I guess you could. Uh. I mean, it was weird. He he popped one back like a tic tac, and then just no. I there could still be some power in him, I guess, but uh, I don't know, man. It, it seems like it's a uh, kind of a pit, you know. All How right. long can you use that to stay out of here? All right, you gonna stay or you gonna go? Ah, no, I'm I'm bailing after this. I'm going back to the hotel. Brodelbin, or yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to come? I want to come to the Brodel bin. I think I'd like to get back to my regular life. Um, hey. <laughs> or, or what was the other place we were at? The, uh, the Mount Ma- Ma- Mancaster. Oh, oh, the McAllister what? building. The McAllister building. Oh, yeah, that's it's... where Abby's from, right? It's it burnt down, but uh, there's a there's an interesting little bookshop that I kind of oh like shit there. um roll roll luck for me as you're seeing Mark look around oh two 
you know what? I got good news for you. Because I'm pretty sure I actually saw the McAllister around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, right over there. And he points kind of towards uh, down a little bit along this wall. And you can see these yellow curtains there. And there is a little trail of smoke issuing from between them. Thanks, Mr. Ward. Yeah, no problem. Hey, good luck out there. Yeah, this is all really interesting, but it doesn't make yeah, much don't. sense. Really? Yeah, I guess not. Maybe next time through, huh? Take care of yourself. You know I do. And I will now start to flow in that direction over towards okay. the curtains. With the... Okay, excellent. And we will cut uh, Agent Dent. You are looking for Agent Donnelly. Yep. And you find him in the crowd. You almost like bump into each other. Uh, Donnelly has a ripped sleeve. What's the plan, Donnelly? Abigail's, I don't know. Lost she cause? Dead. She feels dead to me. Um, okay. I couldn't get through. <clears throat> it bugs me, though. Um, but I think as long as I hold this bottle, the king in yellow can't touch me. That thing. <clears throat> um, and I'm, I'm also going to look at the clock. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't want to put it in exact terms just because we're bouncing around so much, it's but approaching. it is approaching maybe about the 15 minute mark. You don't have a lot of time. Okay. I'm... We got to just, I think we just got to find JC, get him the goddamn bottle so he can write us our lives right back, quite frankly, because I just gave up my daughter for you, your existence. I've, Given up everything. Um, and we can get it back. We can get it back. I, I'm tempted, but damn it. That thing wins. I mean, we just... It's a god. It. <laughs> it is a god. It's not my god. To hell with it. You've just proven... We've got demon... I mean, this... To hell with that thing. Um, I think... We waited out. We pressed Until the red midnight? button. Yeah, what What the hell? We destroy the bottle and the cycle? <clears throat> I, I, I'm, I'm there. I'm nearly there. What the hell? I don't, I don't know what I'm going to go back to. JC, this promise that maybe JC is going to write us better. I, I don't have any control over it. Here, try to open the bottle yourself. See if... Okay, I'll grab onto the bottle and uh, just mm -hmm. try and pop off the cork. <clears throat> roll me a power roll, please. Oh, boy. Right. I trust you uh, to write it better. 17 <clears throat> out of 55. There's some movement to it. Oh, it's giving. It's like, giving. Yeah, it's kind of. I'm going to have to spend some more time. Yeah, you're like pulling at it. All right, and... hold my machine gun. I'm going to try and open this. <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll guard up. I'll, I'll guard them. Perfect. Write yeah, it good. It... Write it. Write it correctly. Dent, you are pulling on back. this, <clears throat> uh, and you can see as you're pulling, the crowd is parting a bit, and you see basically the hemline of the dress that Cindy was wearing when you saw her last with the blood-soaked pillowcase, and it's like the crowd is parting to reveal her. And Agent Diana bursts out of the crowd, calling her two sons, you think, probably. You probably haven't ever seen them, but she's there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying for the bottle. Open it! Open the damn I, bottle! I, I, wait, 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 wait. I'm not listening. No. But my look, look, just just give it to my kids. I am not listening. You to don't my, know your kids. No, you have <laughs> because they're it's please just l listen to me. Just I'm listen to me. I am I'm not I'm gonna listening. Point the machine gun and say stay back. Stay back. Oh right. my god. <laughs> look, Savagery. Donnelly. Donnelly. Let look. him try. Let him try. Let they him try. They can do that without this shit. 
Sorry. You don't know what's um, going on. You have to give it to them because you're having, look, they can open the bottle. They can, they can withstand. Um, they can you don't know yellow. that. How do you know yes. that? Yes, no, Mr. Can. Wild told me. You listening to Wild? Really? Really? Fuck Wild. Let Dent try it. We've got if, time. If it doesn't, if it doesn't work, then what? Maybe. And also, so I'm looking over to Dent. You, you want to, you want to do this? I want to do this. Can I just shoot Agent Den in the head? Oh boy! Yeah. Um, Shotgun. I have a ready. What's... Yeah, yeah. Dolly <laughs> does have a ready fire machine gun. Oh boy, I love this. Um, all right, Woo! this is going to be quick draw, and I absolutely love it. So let's get everybody's <laughs> yeah. dexterity. I think actually I've got Donnelly at seventy, Diana at sixty, and Dent. 50. What are you? Uh, fifty. Yeah. Okay. Donnelly. You are first up. You see Diana's going. I'll go for the spray. Yeah, don't, <laughs> the I lethality ten percent. Screw it. I mean, I said no, and I'm just opening <laughs> it up. Okay, go Jesus ahead and roll Christ. your firearms in the middle of can this. I, crowd. Please don't miss. <laughs> can I dodge or? or uh, no? Yeah, you can oh, dodge can. if you want 32. to. Thirty-two. Like right. yep. Thirty-two. Is it like athletics? Yeah, you can. You can it's try and dodge. hit the floor. Yeah, you can try and do that. It's a dodge. Yeah, it's a dodge. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. And then you lose. Sorry if turn. I was too allowed to. Yep. Um. That is uh oh that is the wrong that's actually I rolled wrong wrong dice my bad. Who's uh, gonna roll? I'll reroll that. Twelve. It was. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense. My bad. That's a twenty-four. That is not enough. I'm afraid. Uh, Donnelly, go ahead and roll damage. As... Should be lethality ten percent for a machine gun. Yep. What's the damage on a machine? I don't know. Uh, lethality. So just roll uh, D100. Oh, D100. If it's 10% or lower, they just die. And yep. if not, then oh, you add I got 15. Turns. Okay. So that's six. So, six damage. All right. Agent Diana, you take six damage. How you doing? Oh, she has. Yeah, she's doing pretty good. Um, actually, that doesn't really bother her. He's down from 14 to, 14 to 8. <laughs> that doesn't I, I just want to be clear. This rakes through the crowd and like, you're not the only person. Like people around you are falling kids? down. Does it hit the kid? Yeah. Oh. Because um, the kill radius of a machine gun yeah, is three meters. Me, you got 32, right? Yeah. Um, uh -oh. Both of them weirdly just step to the side and Ooh. twist as you rake over that and the people around them are dropping, but they are like, you just missed them somehow. They're not real. <laughs> I, I think Diana, because yeah, of it's your turn murderous, like, I mean, it's her, it's a mom trying to defend her. It's kids, my turn. Right. Or that's no, Diana's it's turn. Diana. She, died, yeah. she died for cover. Oh, that's right. Oh, you yeah. for cover. Okay. All right. Um, uh, so did, is she behind cover doing? then? Because that makes yeah, we'll say you kind so of I can't just pull out my gun. Right, right. Um, I'm actually gonna tell Don Lee that hey, I'm gonna make things right. Pat him on the back and run away. Because oh, shit, I can't risk her getting to me. Disappears into the crowd. Okay, interesting. Now we're playing cat and mouse. Oh right. my god, it's a fucking gunfight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess, uh, Diana, what are you feeling as you see Dent just take this bottle and run? I I think she just glares at Donnelly and just like, Donnelly, do you want to get out of here? I don't like this as much as you do. I this is a horrible nightmare. I didn't want to do this. I didn't. I didn't want to. You didn't, you didn't want to do this. You shoot me, and you almost shot. You almost shot my kids. Did you We're see fine. your kids? Yes. I don't think they're your kids. Come on. What are they doing here? They're think both about... having this conversation yes. in cover. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, Dan, like, you are for my, sure going between the gun people. On her, yeah. But, like, um, I'm just, I don't think those are your kids. What the hell? Why would your kids be here? Think about this. Don't listen to him, Jody. 
Don't listen to him, mother. And Wild's telling you to give it to the kids? No. Yeah, I guess you Don lay in the head then. Uh, no. Uh, we'll jump away from you because you will still be in mm -hmm. combat. So we'll we'll yeah. continue with that. Um, and that's what she would do in reaction to that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you're you're. Uh, I love this. A gunfight in the middle of the crowd. Uh, Nancy, you're up front. You're watching the clock tick. Abigail looks worried for the first time you've seen. You've seen all these other kind of expressions. And she seems nervous now. Oh. Little abs getting stage fright. stage fright no um i just don't think you know what you're all dealing with if this is oh, the end wow. of the wow i can't oh the start of the the truth oh my god when you speak you just say such nothingness it's impressive honestly what do you want nancy you're the one that reached out to me in that note Oh, I just wanted to meet you. I just wanted to meet you. Just so... You are such an interesting character. <laughs> you know how artists are. Mm -hmm. Always admire other people's craft. <laughs> yeah. Did you yeah. like this? Like. Please. Or this is the avant-garde. I would hope you'd know enough to not get so caught up in such things as gauche as like or dislike. Liam is a gifted maker. He makes wonderful props. And I wish I could stop him from remaking you eternally. Because it is exhausting. Hmm. Oh, look at all the tears in my eyes. I feel so, so very bad for you, little girl. <laughs> and she going away in a bathtub to a magic place where you get to lead the sheep and pretend like you're not one of them yourself. I'm JC Lynn's. Look at the world that these men build and rebuild and reproduce over and over and over again and again and again. And here you are, the bottle in your fucking hands. And you did what? Give it to JC. It fizzes at your touch and you're like, give it to JC. The patriarchy reproduced. It's the king after all, isn't it? I can't do it myself. That's not my goddamn role. Are you always going to play the part that they've written for you? That society has written for you? Is that all you dreamed of back there in those apartments in the McAllister building? Is that why you went there? As an artist, is that why you went there? To just learn the little part, your little socket in the network of all things. And just to stay there all prim and proper. Lead the sheep. Lead the sheep. Little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep. Lead the sheep. Lead the sheep. <laughs> as i said you're such an interesting character you wield the power to rewrite everything and let you let us all down leaving it in the hands of these boys fine so Nancy, no fine. i don't blame liam for rebuilding me over and over and over again it is your inaction your inaction stop blaming other people abigail what are you gonna do have you ever asked yourself that Put the script down for one goddamn second. What are you, Abigail, going to fucking do? She looks into the crowd. And like she's hearing these gunshots. She's seeing these people move. She's like. You're a fool, Nancy. If you think the king is the one in charge of this, he is a puppet. And the phantom holds sway over the masquerade. And she cracks open this porcelain covering on her face. And it is looking into it. Uh, this is kind of like 2001, a Space Odyssey sort of feel as 
you are blasted with everything. You can feel iteration after iteration of this thing going. Different people in charge, but you see her seeing you again and again and again. It is an infinite well that you are falling into. And make a sanity roll, please. 77 for the critical failure. Okay, well, that is not the one you wanted to critically fail on, as Nancy takes 100 sanity. How is she exiting the stage? Ah, I see it now. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Adieu, adieu, adieu. <laughs> Everything. Everything. Exit. Stage. Vent. Oh, I love it. And there is a vent in the wall that you see there. All of a sudden, a safe spot that you could crawl. A place maybe to reach out later and find someone. Yes, that is where I will go. All right. And as Nancy climbs into the vent, Abigail lowers maybe her face. It doesn't fit well anymore. Harry, you are... On the edge here, you have reached these curtains with the smoke billowing out now. Yeah, the second I heard the machine gun, I I just ran through them. Okay, you burst through these, and I need you to make a con roll. Because you have burst out of a closet into a raging inferno. Uh-oh. You feel the floor kind of, yeah, moving against you. You see there is a window off to the side covered in, like, newspaper. This room feels familiar. You're positive it's the McAllister, but you're... It's on fire. It, it's on fire, and it's there's stuff in here. Like, this is someone's apartment at the time, you think? Like, somebody was living here. Right. But, yeah, it is completely on fire how'd that con roll go i i i missed it by like two points okay um I've got i've only got 45 con i got okay yeah, yeah you're uh, basically what's happening is you are just smoking you're choking on smoke at the moment and you're going to be at a minus 10 for rolls what are you doing okay. i'm trying to get out of the building okay how in what way um Okay, so I I imagine it's confusing. Um, can I see if there's a window? Yeah, there is a window there. I I run to the window and look out. Am I on the ground floor? Am I on the top floor? Uh, it looks like you are uh, two stories up. Uh, so there's just you're on the second story. So if you went down, right. you'd fall. Yeah, a couple. Is and, there? A... Yeah, across the street, you do see. Agent Dent, but younger, just staring at this building as it burns. Is there a fire escape? Oh, no. That would be awful convenient, though. Um, And when you see the buildings on fire, is there a raging inferno? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much you'd really have to... You'd be right. taking your life in your hands if you went inside, too. So it's okay. more of what are you confident in doing? So I'm going to uh I'm going to, you know, use my shoulder and smash the window. Mm -hmm. If unless it just opens. Oh, it can uh it can open. We'll say you jimmy it up. I'll I'll jimmy it up really quick and I will try to climb out and see if I can break my fall in some way. Maybe uh yeah. Maybe yeah. hang down from the window and then let go so that I don't fall. I like yeah. that. Yeah, I like that. Roll a uh, dexterity as you're climbing out of this burning building. Oh, 19. That's perfect. Yeah, I love that. Is, uh, you drop down and maybe you do like a tuck and roll. You read about right. it. 
you're it's always that like you just gotta tuck and roll. How hard is it? And then you right. land your life. You're hearing the New York sounds kind of going. Um, as I glance over, do I still see Dent? Yeah. Yeah. Did he see me jump out of the building? Uh he doesn't seem to. Like he's just kind of focused on it. There's this glazed look in his eyes. So having done some research and assuming that I've landed in on the day that they burned the McAllister building, do I know mm-hmm. the date? It's sometime in nineteen ninety five. Um, am I still dressed in my frog costume? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I will I will take off the mask and tuck it, but I will mm-hmm. also change my appearance back to normal. Okay. So I'm not wearing... I've still got the cloak on. Yep. Roll sanity as you use this cloak. Um, nineteen. Okay, just one. That's so good. Is yeah. Okay. Once again, you kind of resolve, and yeah, maybe in like a nice, nice outfit. You don't look out of place at all. It's not the nicest neighborhood, so maybe you don't go too fancy right. with it. But yeah, and I will just try to nonchalantly walk away. Okay, wondering if I can go visit myself because I kind of would know where I would be around this time. Mm-hmm. Actually, I would be involved with the other agents at this time. So I might might not do that. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, you're walking away from this burning building. And uh, we'll get to you in an epilogue, I think, okay. as we'll rejoin. Uh, let's do Donley and Agent Diana. I want to kind of see how this pans out. As dense running away, I uh, Don, yeah, okay, Donley okay. will have first initiative. Um, yeah, good. But at this point, you're both kind of in the crowd. Go ahead and do a search roll. Okay, Donley. I was going to say I was going to disappear in the oh, crowd. Okay, pull back. Yeah, I, I think both of you are trying to like use this cover. Money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're I don't seeing... want a shooter. I don't want it. Yep. Gray. <clears throat> Gray Diana. Doesn't matter. Oh, search roll, or uh, Don no, Lee? just Don Lee for the moment. We'll I got a you twenty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you can see like where Jody is at this point, like darting between people, her guns out, obviously. Yeah, I'm gonna if I can just disappear into the crowd and go towards um. If I know which direction Dent went, I'm gonna probably not. <laughs> It, yeah, it's really tough to say. Uh, you could try and do another search. Someplace. Yeah, but... yeah. You're also probably That's a little worried that, yeah, if you go there, you might bring Diana there. Uh, but, True. okay. Yeah, but roll yeah, a... Uh... Off back. Okay, roll a search. <laughs> oh, me? Uh, Donnelly, yeah, yeah. To see if you can find Dent, who's also kind of disappeared at this point. That's an 11. He's he's right there. Yeah, you see him with the bottle moving ahead of you. Um, but I'm you're gonna you're just catching up. Go a different way then. <clears throat> okay. I like it. You see him with the bottle and you're like to pull Diana away if need be. Okay. Uh Agent Diana, go ahead and do a search roll, please. Let's see if my dice loves me. If not, that's fine. They've been swinging. I love it. Yeah. Your dice have that not is... loved you tonight. Yeah, that is a 10. Okay. Yeah. Um, You see Donley heading one direction, and you see... Uh, do you think... Uh, are you looking for Dent, or are you just trying to follow Donley now? Kind of scouts on her situation. I'm thinking that... This is this is a thing. Um, mm-hmm. Especially seeing how her kids she really thinks like it's her kids like she'll do anything but seeing how they're able to dodge um the bullets i i'm thinking is if if she's able with that role um she would want uh to fetch her kids on dent if she's able to locate dent 
Oh, okay. Yeah. He kept I like telling that. him that he has the bottle. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can tell them that and you can see two heads kind of snapping around, but yeah, maybe you you see Don Lee in the other direction. What are you doing? I'm I'm thinking that seeing like Don Lee going going the other direction, he she's she's going to walk uh at least follow her kids but at a slow pace while letting go donley okay because the thing is that it's it's not really him that he's after he she just want to yep. make sure her kids get what they need or want okay because that's what, like a good mother horribly creepy i absolutely love it uh agent dent you've ducked into the crowd what are you doing and i open this goddamn bottle all right make a power test okay, okay i passed not a crit. Okay. You're pulling at this, and you can see now Cindy is closer in the crowd than she was before. She's I'm like turn to her. Yeah. Okay. And I still have her bottle. She's reaching out her. And hand. I know she wants the bottle. Yep. So I'm gonna throw it as far as away from me as possible. And I say, go. And she watches it. No. No. And it. Make a luck roll for me. Okay. Because oh, this boy. is a crowded room. 19. You hear distantly in the crowd. Oh! And the clank of a bottle onto the <laughs> ground. And you see that like panic in her eye that. Get your bottle. No. No, you have to wear the mask. And she's holding out a mask. Um, What kind of mask is it? It is a plain white, looks like paper mache mask. Do you want to be the author or not? I'll wear the mask. Okay. We're continuing in dexterity order. Donley, you see that these two sons are heading that way uh and yeah they're they're kind of them and jody are or diana are lost in the crowd make a make a search roll uh 23 okay you see and this uh this is strange to you perhaps there is near one of the walls uh, kind of pushing one of the curtains aside, you see your father, or your grandfather, rather, is standing there. Uh, he looks like he did the day you left him uh, at the, the, the thing. He's kind of looking around like he's looking for something. How far away is he? Uh, you can push through the crowd to get to him this turn if you want. Yeah. <laughs> do i see i see dent and yeah you can hear them in the crowd like you can hear some of these words being shouted a little bit am i behind behind them can i uh basically we'll say you have the choice do you go towards yeah. your grandfather or do you go to save dent whose bond is stronger i Who's gotta it? say well, yeah, you guys are really close. I mean, I've got to say Dent, though. I mean, I really think he can open this and oh, save us. And if I can get a shot on, I guess, Gray and the kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead and do a search to try and get back to them. Use, uh, no, use, no. Use your no, power. No. That's a 97. Yeah, you're you're having trouble. He, he, you're yeah. caught up in the crowd. Um, Agent Diana, your sons seem to see Dent, but they're listening to you. I think he's she's just thinking as in looking at looking at Dent. I think he looks over to Kenneth. Uh, I think that's the oldest. Mm -hmm. I think he she tells Youngest, tells yeah. her. 
Um, uh, Kenneth, can you uh, take off his head? Of course, I can try. Yeah. Um, I mean, look at him. He's right wrapped in bandages. Death might be his only mercy. Good point. He's completely misused his powers. Don't you agree? Yes, of course. But it's They're not unfortunate. they're kind of converting, uh, conversing, and uh, Dent. You can see these two are just coming out of the crowd and reaching for you. Uh, you can see the mask isn't like in front of you. And you basically, are you going to dodge? Are you going to, like, because if you dodge, you probably won't get to the mask this turn. And are they both going to attack me? They're both going to attack you. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this at all. I think uh, I think we still have a little time. So can I grab the mask and run? Uh, I'll count that as a dodge. Okay. If you wanna, if you can succeed a dodge, you can get it. Oh boy. All right. Because Very I, little I need contested Donley rolls. to guard me or else I'm messed up. That is a 38 out of 40. Okay, Oh my you, lord. you managed to beat them as their hands switch. Like they are fast, and they actually catch like little bits of your wrapping, and. luckily it's kind of ripping away It comes off and yeah you see my face. it's uh pretty terrible looking honestly it's not healed very well you And just they're like, put bandages Ugh. on it it's got a bit <laughs> okay <laughs> and I'll and put on the mask and run. okay you're, you're running into the crowd um the dodge was your turn unfortunately Yep. uh donley give me a search On the, oh, 20. Okay, you can see uh, Diana. You can see her two sons are grabbing at Dent. He's managing to get away, but barely. Am I The clock. like behind them now? I mean, they. Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, Dent's Uh, on the I'm. other side of them. They are. She looks like they're. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot Gray. Okay. I'm going to shoot <laughs> the kids. I'm going to just open up. Just open up. Don't critically fail. 36. Uh, all right. Uh, Dana, would you like to dodge behind cover? And I shoot back. Uh, no, you just not do anything. Uh, okay. And next on your turn, you would shoot back. That's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, dodge. So Okay. let's see. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm switching different like two sheets. All right, there we go. Sorry. All right. Oh, I keep rolling the wrong dice. My bad. I'm just. I'm just. Uh... I'll make sure I got the right dice. Sorry about that. Uh, that's a thirty-six. Um, I don't Is think. that exactly what you you got, Donley? Yeah. I got 36 uh, as a, on a dodge, and I have a dodge of 80. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I think, Diana, you will drop down, right? You get out of the way. Yeah. And Donley, this time your aim is much more true. And maybe the sons weren't expecting it. Roll damage, please. 86. 14 So that's 14 total. damage. Diana, you watch... And roll sanity, please, as Yep. your two sons are gunned down in front of you in the middle Oh, she of got this a crowd. Yeah, go ahead and roll a, a D8, we'll say, because these are literally your sons. ninety-five. Mm-hmm. They Oh, had their a two? whole lives. Okay. A two? That's that's a that's down to four uh thirty-nine. She's not near the breaking point. Okay. But I think she is screaming uh at Donley like obscenities. And she's like crying a lot Mm -hmm. because she lost her husband and now she lost her kids. I think she's she wants to run if it, it's 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 stupid, yeah but she's going to run towards Donley just trying to break his neck. okay we will get to that next turn agent dent you hear gunfire behind you I have the mask on. I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna open up this goddamn bottle. Okay, you pull on the mask and you pull. It's so easy. It's I am the so author. easy. You're the author. And you 
pop it open. And Cindy is there with you and the whole masquerade fades. Like the noise just kind of goes down to nothing. And Cindy's there with her bottle and it's open. And she's got the pillowcase on her face still. The blood is still wet somehow. She's like, don't worry. I'll build a much better world. Thank you, Dad. Thank you so much. And you're feeling this powerful, like, change happening in you. Roll a sanity roll, please. Fuck. <laughs> oh, 76. Okay. Roll a 1d100. All right. I think this might be it. My sanity's 31. Might be it. Roll the 17. Okay. We will get back to you in a little bit. Okay. I have Agent said. Donnelly. Jesus Christ. You are, you gunned them down. You see, you see Diana turning and you hear this gong, gong, gong. It sounds like it is ringing. The bells are going. This is your last chance to get out of here. What are you going to do? Oh. My last chance to what I see a door or I can get out of the you're you're thinking you might uh, what's your plan? Like what is there a place you'd run? You vaguely remember I don't want to go back out and be stuck. I'm I'm I think Dent's done what he needs to do. Um mm -hmm. But yeah, if there's a door, I'm gonna run to the door. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I like it. Um, do a search. We'll handle go, it that way. Go home. It's an O one. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> there Holy is shit. a O one. <laughs> there is a door right there. Diana's at your heels though. Like she has clocked you. She is going. The door is right there. You're not open it. So. You're not even sure where it's going. You open it. Um, make an alertness check for me. Oh, that was a, that was a. Uh, where's my alertness? Well, oh, I pass fifty one. Okay. <laughs> you look down the mint colored hallways of the Dorchester house, like you've just opened the door. You haven't run through, but you can see the house there. Well, screw that. I'm not going to the door chest. Okay. Well, with a machine gun, maybe, actually. <laughs> no. Like, no. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get to Diana, because you're kind of standing there thinking this. Diana, what are you yeah. doing? I'm thinking that, yeah, she, she's torn. She's more torn that Donnelly has, you know, taken, you know, hit her kids. Mm-hmm. Her, her her husband is gone. And maybe there's a strange feeling that maybe she did deserve this, especially being unfaithful towards uh towards mm -hmm. Mark. So I'm thinking just to join to join her kids, whichever afterlife it is, she's going to pop that one, I think she has that one pop of Malonia that I guess Gray had. And maybe hopefully Gray will wake up and she wants to go back to sleep. But oh, she doesn't want to wake up. Very nice. So, she'll yeah, pop the... you can absolutely do yeah. that because you'll you'll lose some sanity in the course of it. So we'll get back to you as we watch you are popping this pod, Agent Donnelly. You are the last one before we go to epilogues. Make your choice. Are you staying here, or are you going back to the Dorchester? It's just one of the hallways in the Dorchester. Just a right? hallway. It's just a hallway. That was a nightmare. I can't go back. I, I I really cannot go back into that Dorchester. This was worse than this place. <clears throat> okay. If so I you're... can't, yeah. If I can't close it and open it again, to you you can get close back it to home, but it seems to be one. yeah. It's you're you're maybe. 
Yeah, roll a sanity check just for kicks and grins. That's a 74. I failed. Okay. Um, roll a d6 against helplessness, which you may be uh, adapted a, to. Yeah, I'm adapted okay. to help. Just, just one. As we'll stick with you for a moment as the clock strikes and chimes and you're hearing in the background maybe the door open close open close wanting it to be something more and then finally you're you're kind of hearing dimly in the back this on mask on mask on mask the clock strikes midnight and you're at the front this door you had it seems odd now because it's the front door to the McAllister. Oh. And you look around, it is a New York day. It's beautiful. Like people, you remember being out in the park again, but it's very clearly like a stage, like a stage set you're on. You can see the building is just on the stage. And Liam walks over and gives you a pat hey donley donley thanks thanks so much for being here um don't worry we're gonna get it right this time we're gonna get it right um go ahead and here is your script this time and he hands you a script that says operation alice on it but he pauses for a second goes ah oh uh sorry uh rewrites you understand it's a little confusing uh, 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 uh here you go uh here and when you look down you see it is operation cindy that he is handing you like damn it dead dude <laughs> and you are looking out on the stage as we pan away from you uh jody we'll we'll go to you we're going to kind of slightly go yeah. in reverse. Mm -hmm. You take one of these pods. Yeah. And Agent Gray is the one that comes out this time, right? Like you kind of mm -hmm. go under, you feel this weird sensation of falling. And you're back at, well, meeting with Mr. Wild. And he's sitting like this just kind of looking at a letter that he has like uh what I, you know i i fucked up i fucked up i really <laughs> really thought that this time you could do it I, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm I'm being I am learning. My therapist is telling me I need to be more open with people. It is not your fault. I am mad at reality. But hmm. the good news is is that we have a little job for you, okay? Yeah, yeah, as long as you apply the the good stuff, you know. Um Don't worry. I got we got the good stuff for you. Uh yeah, and yeah. he's like holding out a vial with five of these little beetles just crawling in it. You've been uh moving up to the hod stuff, I know. So uh uh it's uh I'm sorry, but uh yeah, here you go. Um I've got uh five. Yeah, five envelopes here. I need you to five. deliver them. Yeah, yeah, it's it's funny. I need you to deliver these to uh Agent Donley, Agent Dent Agent Diana, uh, uh, what was the other two? Uh, did I say Dante already? No, I I think you said yeah. Well, not yet, Dante. Dante, Donley, just... Dent, Diana. Uh, there was also a. Was there a oh, dust? Ice, yeah. Oh, uh, ice. Dust. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Like... Dust. Yeah, we'll give yeah. him another shot. Maybe he'll manage this time. Who knows? But yeah, um, go ahead. Don't open them. The thing's hey, loud I as promise. hell, and I don't want to deal with it. So. Uh, here's their addresses. Good luck. Yeah, uh, thanks. Um, how are you doing with the cat? Um, still more scratches on you. Yeah. Um, it got me, and he like lifts his uh pant leg to show you, 
like a, a pretty deep looking cut in it uh, from this thing. And he's like, I, you know, you try and tame the world that is the cat and it just kicks and hisses and scratches at you. What's the point sometimes? Yeah, maybe you're not a cat person. Maybe you can move on to maybe a a dog or a bird. Maybe you ever thought about that? Or maybe reptiles. Oh, I could get a dog. Yeah, a dog. I love it. I could name him Abraham. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is a great idea. Okay, I'm, we're going to make that happen. All right. Okay. And mm -hmm. he kind of like pats you on the back and good luck. Uh, and thanks. Okay. See ya. Maybe catch a drink sometime after all of this is over again. Or... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. And we'll watch Agent Gray sounds like walk off with some very important letters to deliver. Um, Nancy, we've we've left you for a bit and I waited intentionally until you had to take a drink. Um, what's going on with Nancy? What what did her disappearance matter she saw everything she said something she disappeared but maybe there's some part of her still in the world there's the thing about scripts that you have to understand it's the white space the margins there's always something flickering in and out there's always something underpinning it all. Mm -hmm. There are the unseen things, contextual elements, the forehaving of language. There's always something else. There's always something you can't quite see. In the vents. And there, right? in the vents, <laughs> in the vents, the negative space. So Nancy flitters in and out, actively static, telling her father to come see, making phone calls, mm -hmm. specters out of the corners of people's eyes. Just yeah. that, that, those parts of the script, those key things outside of the actors, the context, it's really does, the context that makes it really. And does Nancy ever think about how she's causing her father to look for her causing her own creation causing her father to look for her causing is the is the loop the repetition lost on her or is it kind of a nihilism the difficulty of course with the dance is that it is paradoxically both active and static. Those two words, my two favorite words, active static. <laughs> active static, come and see, come and see. If you miss the show, don't worry, it'll play again and again and again. You can always catch the next matinee or the next performance, double feature. Show, showing all the time, streaming everywhere. You can't miss it. You literally can't miss it. Active static. <laughs> I love it. Agent Fultis, you're in New York. You've mm -hmm. gone to, it sounds like your old address. Maybe you, you know. Well, I thought now. about it. I, I didn't want to cause some sort of weird paradox. But um, something I noticed a long time ago mm -hmm. is the secret stash where I keep a chunk of my money seem to have gone missing. Uh, what happens is, of course, I waited until I went to the store <laughs> and I went in and I got the secret stash of money. Mm -hmm. So I set myself up in a small apartment. I changed my identity. Uh, I'm not that far from the bookstore, mm -hmm. which I occasionally visit. And I invest the bulk of whatever money I have in Apple and Microsoft and uh, 
things like that because I know already Mm -hmm. that they're going to skyrocket in the 90s. Uh, My intention being that I'd like to live comfortably for the rest of my life, doing research, collecting books, maybe even becoming a rival for myself, my other self trying to get. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, and I don't know whether I ever see Mr. Wild again or whether he's aware of my existence. Yeah, you're a rich man at some point and yeah. do you are you the kind of person that like retires or do you have like a mansion that you've built up for yourself i probably sat with an architect and designed my own mansion once i was you know, the stock nice. was my i i don't know uh something like that but but obscure i didn't want to ever become famous or I'm not that kind of a person. Okay, I like it. And it is a kind of a rainy night. One of those uh, kind of just you you want to stay at home and read kind of nights. Mm-hmm. Uh, occasional thunder here and there when you're hearing this big knock, knock up on the door and the voice of Mr. Wild. Hey, Harry. Harry. Oh, Mr. Wild, I'll uh, I'll go downstairs in my uh, my smoking jacket and open up the door. Oh, uh, Mr. Wild, I haven't seen you for so long. Please come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. Let's hey, come on in. Off. Come on. In. And he brings in. There is this. Uh, well, he's very young. You think maybe like nineteen or so. Huh. Uh, kind of a bedraggled, thin-looking guy. He's like, ah, hey, uh, Harry, I'm sorry to intrude on you. I know you're you're kind of out of the game, right? I, I didn't want to mess with that. You're a great guy. Un- ineffective, I'm afraid, for what I wanted. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, am I right? But I am going to kind of have to uh, lean a little bit on you. Um, all the stuff you've done with the money and everything. Yeah, you made a billy. Like, yeah, I may have been tamping down some people that were wondering how you knew all this stuff. So, again, this is a professional thing. I like you. You like me, I'm sure. I'm a I'm a likable guy. I've but, never had a problem with you, no. Why, why would you? Why would you in the future? Why would I? Right, right exactly. exactly. Which but is I why owe, I know. I owe this all kind of to you. So uh, you, re- you really do. So that's why when I say you're going to help little Terry here, any uh smacks this kid on the back you're gonna help him give him everything he wants and needs to pursue his craft he is a uh, very gifted sculptor i'm told oh yes yes and you will be helping him in pursuing his craft let's just say he's a little royal huh status quo can't go on forever am i right Okay. Well, I've wondered um, who ended up being the author. Oh, <laughs> would you believe? Uh, Agent Dent. Really? Yeah, right? I kind of suspected that if Dent became the author, we'd be living in a gigantic war zone by now. Well, you. Kn- I mean, at this point, we can all kind of agree it's not really his call, right? I guess, yeah. Cindy's Cindy's a good kid, is all I'm saying. And she's been good. His daughter. Yeah, right. Well, she's, you know, she's a phantom this time, so. Okay. Yeah. I'm of just course, saying. I'll I'll become his patron. Uh, does he need right. a place to live, or is he going to? Do I uh, no, uh, you can. Money? I'll have you finance his uh, hotel, uh, all the stuff he needs, uh, just. Make sure you keep an eye on him. I'd give him a bodyguard. These these kids have so many people out to kill him for some goddamn reason. Mm. Uh, I don't want a repeat of the whole Asa Ace uh, pickaxe thing. So just uh, keep him protected, okay? He's he's not like into teeth or anything like that, is he? Oh God, no! That was Asa's fucking thing. I don't know. 
look, the rules of the world are confusing and hard for me to understand. Uh, well, and how old is he? Uh, the kid? Yeah. Oh, he's 19. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, I mean, you'd set him up for a place, uh, maybe buy him a book or two. Weird, right? Yeah, sure. Great. Yeah, you've got it. Uh, I think that that's an easy enough way to repay you. Damn straight. All right. Well, Harry, he puts his hand out. Here's to a good life. Don't fuck me over. Thank you very much. You know I wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. And you watch as Mister Wild walks away in this kind of young person is looking at you baffled and confused and we'll cut to agent dent agent dent you head above zero sanity right yeah somehow somehow where in the world would agent dent end up if he had no money (laughs) If he had nothing at all, if he lost his mind. Oh, probably the uh, subway system of Boston. Excellent. You've been living there in your palace in the subway station for years at this point. Your servants dote upon you where they can. Some of the people bring you offerings and whatnot. You have a fine crown that you found someone discarded it foolishly but they don't know they don't know that you're the king in yellow that's true and you see this uh this uh just kind of person on the street one day person or person yeah uh you're squinting you're pretty sure they're a demon that brings me great comfort yeah which one is it though? You're having trouble as you're looking at them. It like the words are just escaping you. And they're kind of looking at you on the bench, like, why are you here? And you're you were hungry. You just needed to come out. What do you do? I'll get a closer look. They seem familiar, don't don't they? They do. Oh, well, of course, it's Cindy. She's Cindy? just sitting on the bench. Yeah, it's Cindy. Is that you? Um, I'm sorry. No, it's 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 you. It's Cindy. My my daughter. Um, I I, I don't think I. Yes, I am. Of course, you I are. am. You are. Of course. Let's go home. Where where are we going? Somewhere safe, somewhere good. How's how's school? Um, sir, you're starting to scare me. I'm, I'm your father. Don't you recognize me? Um, and this Cindy's getting up and she's kind of sliding away from you. I. Look, here's twenty dollars. Cindy's holding out twenty dollars. I'll snatch that. Which she probably uses that moment to. <laughs> yeah, pretty much is <laughs> bails. Oh, that's that's strange, right? Cindy had somewhere to go, probably. Probably. I'll see her again. Yeah, yeah. After all, you are. The king in yellow. It's true. And you look down and you've been carving in the in this uh bench a strange triangular shape. And that's where we'll end with Agent Dent carving the yellow sign onto a bench. Yes. A lot to think about and ponder. And... <laughs> yes, thank you all for playing Impossible Landscapes. It's a it's a bit of a beast. Uh, it's 
I'm excited for everyone to get to read it now and talk about it and have conversations about what all is going on. But I, I loved it. I love Agent Dent being the man and with the plan. So desperation plays. <laughs> Tell us about. Yes, the book is written in such a way and it confirms this in a lot of ways that what you are being told is true, right? The king in yellow carves out the world, makes it. This is <laughs> the place you are going, Carcosa. This is the real world. But the difficult thing about mimetic viruses is that they tend to lie to make themselves more and more important. And this is, in a lot of ways, uh, at least my reading of it and the way I've run this, is this is a dreamscapes kind of campaign. Much of the places you go to, the children that Asa is killing are powerful dreamers. These are all threats to Carcosa writ large, this place that cycles through kings and kind of drains them. But Carcosa, place out of time, it's just all these loops creating themselves over and over again. So throughout the Castanes, they're part of a loop. Uh, J.C. Lins would have been part of a loop, but you kept the bottle from him. So what is that like? There might be another loop where he does have it. And it's just this kind of self-perpetuating idea that the king in yellow must exist and these things must happen. It's uh, nihilism as a virus. But uh, yeah, so you've you've doomed Dent. I think Donley probably got, in some ways, uh, Donley and <laughs> Boltus got out the cleanest. Did I? I would say. <laughs> The I cleanest. Mean, I think I probably got out the cleanest. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, Gray's living a lie, or Diana, she's just kind of doesn't know who she is anymore. I don't That's know. Too... I think I think Nancy got out the best. Uh, yeah. yeah, Nancy. Yeah. I think I think Nancy and Liam, by far, got out of this yeah. the best because they don't. They go with they're with the process. <laughs> they're they in. Gotta every, every, everybody else suffers due to their resistance and denial, but. <laughs> Liam and Nancy are just like it's a lot easier nothing else. if you just go with the flow um, another little peek behind the curtain is uh, there is a secret statistic that we track for players as they are playing mm. this game called corruption and the oh. more you engage with the weirdness that is around you the higher it goes the more things will happen to you so for example Liam uh, I, I don't think I'm shocking anybody to say his corruption was quite high um, by the time he exited. Um, whereas others like Donley, yours was lower as you were kind of pushing back against this. So much like kind of the night floors is the best approach realistically would be to just say, I am shutting this out of my mind <laughs> and I am never thinking about this again. But that's the problem with the king in yellow is it's always there just trying to draw you back in further and further. How corrupt was I? <laughs> uh, I would say your first character was really corrupt. Oh, yeah, uh, Dust. Oh yeah, Dust was very corrupt, which is a big part of why the king wanted to feed on him. A lot more than Agent Diana, who he just kind of tore to pieces. So, yes, I'm afraid... Uh, Dust was a victim of his own successes in that way. Um, but the others were kind of trying to put it down. And I probably uh, ramped up in the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, I would say so. I would say you did. Uh, by the I'd time like we get like to a... the masquerade, I kind of stop worrying about it as much. I'd like to see uh, a graph of like that, that uh, stat. It's, it's how did... yeah. Each session, how... and it's like... <laughs> Oh, how high up did Nancy go for just uh, <laughs> Nancy, compared to you know, was, Liam? Uh, Liam pretty... got really high, and did Nancy get up there too by the end? Nancy was up there pretty well by the yeah. end. Uh, I, I can't find it right off the bat. Um, I had the last one I kept track of was six for old Nancy out of ten, but by <laughs> the end, yeah, it was higher. I would say. How did Gray um, end up? I mean, compared to Diana's, and there's like there's two personas. So did do um, they stack? Or what? I would say 
I would say Diana and Gray were kind of a, you were kind of stuck at five-ish, is you were so into it that, like, your new personality was built around this. So Uh, you were kind of corrupted. But yeah, I would have said Diana was less. But I think by the end, commanding your two children to uh, rip apart (laughs) Din was a, a good sign that, Okay. Yeah, she's, yeah, it's, she's it's gone. gone. <laughs> yep, it's gone. Makes sense. I really gotta yeah, say it, it, makes... was, it was wrong to have me open the door to the to the damn McAllister house. <laughs> or the Dorchester. <laughs> or, I, I may have yeah. heard you say that the last Dorchester. time, like, oh, that would be a terrible choice. I'm like, really now? <laughs> yeah, well, Dorchester I'm gonna keep that in my back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> um, um in terms of <laughs> who like got saved though, like Donley realistically saved his family by reaching out and being like go get away get away get away and didn't kind of doomed his family by giving a guy with kind of being out of time and you know giving him a grudge uh, cindy was unfortunately dead for a while it's fine none of it matters (laughs) she's she's back you see her every time at the the masquerade and who was mr wild mr wild's a very interesting yeah. character in that he's just around uh he is a repairer reputation much like the original stories and he is trying to manipulate his whole time to get his position um the way i run it is if witwer gets uh to be in charge you would end up with a much more um, Robert Chambers type worlds with like the uh, the suicide chambers and the the kind uh, of strange that's not good at all not quite English no it's it's not good but it's his world that he would make through Whitwer he would kind of be the uh, the phantom of truth and just like Doctor Friend is kind of again if you look at like a dreamscape he's trying to figure out how to get to be part of this King and Yellow he just can't access the power so that's why he's drawing out the the patsu he's oh attempting. Really interesting oh makes sense all right our players included morgan llewellyn alex sun nell hippel thomas grooms and myself with nathan decker as the handler we have a discord server where you can chat with other members you can set up private games you can learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering we provide audio only versions of our shows free for you to download from spotify podbean or itunes Support for the show is provided by our patrons who are listed in the closing credits. If you'd like to show us your appreciation, please visit our Patreon page listed in the description, or you can use Super Thanks button just below the screen. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel and punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows and leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answer any questions you might have. This is Tom Bailey, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Delta Green role-playing game. Until next time, good luck, good gaming.